This week I'm in Antigua and I'm going to go on an underwater snorkeling and scooter snorkeling expedition to see what wildlife I can find here. So join me as I take you on an incredible adventure. Within seconds of submerging, I came across a green sea turtle swimming amongst the seagrass. Antigua is a breeding ground for green turtles, but they are found mainly in tropical and subtropical waters. Like other sea turtles, they migrate long distances between feeding grounds and the beaches from where they hatched. Sea turtles need to reach the surface to breathe, and one of the biggest threats facing turtles is being caught in fishing gear, causing them to drown once ensnared. Some of the other main threats to green sea turtles are the over-harvesting of their eggs, hunting of adults, and the loss of their nesting beach sites. Swimming alongside this majestic reptile was absolutely incredible. Turtles have been around for about 120 million years according to a recent analysis, and the experience never, ever disappoints. The scientific name for the green sea turtle is Chelonia midas, named after the green colour of cartilage and fat under the shell. Listed as endangered, global populations are declining, estimated at only 85 to 90,000 nesting females. Such an incredible encounter is hard to beat, but exploring the wreck of this submarine on the seabed came a close second. My next find was a bloom of moon jellyfish, or Aurelia aurita. Although toxic, contact with the bare human skin usually only results in an itchy rash. Their bodies are almost transparent. Tentacles hang down from the rim of the margin, and other loose tissues hanging down are oral arms. The clover-shaped piping is the animal's reproductive organs. These dome-shaped jellyfishes range in diameter from 4 to 8 inches and manoeuvre by pulsating their bodies. The jellyfish is a major source of food for the green sea turtles. These snorkel scooters are excellent for diving down rapidly. I spotted a porcupine fish and I wanted to take a closer look. Porcupine fish belong to the family Diodontidae, commonly collectively called puffer fish. Porcupine fish have the ability to inflate their bodies by swallowing water or air, thereby becoming rounder. Sharp spines radiate outwards when the fish is inflated. Some species are poisonous, having tetrodotoxin in their internal organs such as the ovaries and liver. This neurotoxin is at least 1,200 times more potent than cyanide. I can't tell you what fun these snorkel scooters are, and it was just what I needed to keep up with an incredible find of a spotted eagle ray. This cartilaginous fish is found globally in tropical regions including the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. Of the many crustaceans that inhabit the seabed, these lobster take refuge underneath a rock. The peacock flounder is also called the flowery flounder because it is covered in superficially flower-like bluish spots. As suggested by the family name, left eye flounders have both eyes on the top of the left hand side of their heads. These beautiful spotted trunkfish can be found in reefs throughout the Caribbean. It was incredibly satisfying to find this bearded fireworm native to the tropical Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. The average length of these fireworms is about 15 centimeters, but they can grow up to 30 centimeters long. All my favorite reef fish were out in force, such as this four-eyed butterfly fish and this banded butterfly fish. I even got to play hide and seek with this juvenile damselfish.
This ray-finned fish is typically known as a squirrel fish. And this beauty is a glass-eyed snapper. Suddenly, in the shallows, I caught sight of a barracuda in the distance ahead of me. I swam as fast as I could to try and catch up with it and get a good clear shot of it on my camera. The barracuda is known for its fearsome appearance and ferocious behaviour. Some species grow up to 165 centimetres in length. Unfortunately, this one was just too fast and it wouldn't turn so I could get a really clear, good look at it. I swam after it as hard as I could, but eventually it just headed off into the blue and I had to give up the chase. The sighting of this Caribbean reef octopus was a great consolation prize. This species is very difficult to describe because it changes colour and texture to blend in with its surroundings using specialised skin cells known as chromatophores. Heading back to shore, I had one last opportunity to swim with a turtle, which finished off my adventure perfectly. Oh, that was incredible. We saw some amazing stuff. Spotted eagle rays, turtles, incredible. Absolutely spectacular.